Samsung released a new version of the One Hand Operation Plus and this time they added some new stuff. So, Arrow 3 animation is here and also revert the height handle feature. And of course, if you're using this in tablet, there is the change, rotate left or right direction. And of course, the usual bug fixes, guys. Now, this version is 6.7.19.0 from the 1st of December, and it's only 8 megabytes. And without any further ado, guys, let me show you what you can do with this. Now, One Head Operation Plus is probably the most useful models from the whole good luck suite if you don't know anything about good luck you might want to check some of my previous videos and also how you can bypass the original protection and get it installed but now we're here so let me just show you guys the new additions so this animation error tree is just a new animation this is what you get like this arrow so let me show you all the animation styles we have the arrow one which is this one here then we have the arrow two, which is this one here, which is probably also the best one. Then we have the arrow three. And then at the end, we have the curved line, which is also very nice. And I would say very tactile. Now, if you don't know anything about one end operation plus, then guys, let me just show you what you can do. And again, this is not gonna be a full tutorial because I'm probably gonna need like two hours, but it's a very powerful module that allows you to use the phone with one hand. And let me just show you, I'm gonna take the phone in my hand, guys. And now if I do like this, I'm gonna get this very nice uh, pop-up here. If I do like this, guys, I'm able to move my screen around, right? And if I go and I do a diagonal swipe, I'm gonna get access to my like MIDI launcher. And by the way, guys, uh, you can customize all these gestures and you have like a short gesture, like a long gesture. So if I do this on the right, guys, you can just see I have the same. And if I do the diagonals, guys, you can just see I have volume control. So what I'm saying is that all these gestures are actually customizable and you can have multiple controls. So you have one like this, one like that, one like that, short and long. So six here on the left and then another six here on the right. So imagine at least 12. Now, they brought some new features besides, of course, the new animation. And this new feature is actually very cool. It hides the handle so that technically it prevents you from opening the one hand operation plus. And let me just give you a very nice example. So let's say right now I'm inside my quick settings. I am able to trigger it, right? But let's say that I don't want it because I want to use here to just swipe things left and right. So technically I can now go into settings and I can hide the handle for the quick panel, boom. See, it will really not get activated. And now it, this will allow me to go and swipe it. And you can do the same for the landscape mode. Now let me just go back to my landscape mode. And let's say I'm just using my phone to draw something. If I don't want to get this here, right? Or also this here, like the mini launcher, I can go back to my advanced settings and I can choose to deactivate it in the landscape mode, which means right now, every time I'm in the landscape mode, this is gonna get deactivated. And of course it gets even better because you can also hide it from the lock screen and also on the home screen. So let's say right now, I don't wanna get this on my home screen. So I'm just navigating my phone. I don't wanna get this here. But the moment that say I open it up application, boom, I want to be able to access my mini launcher, or let's say I'm listening to something here in Spotify, and I can always try to do like this to turn the volume up and down, or yeah, it's just really up your taste, and you can block all these things. So those are the two main updates. The first thing, of course, is only this new animation, row three, which is really just like that, but the high handle option is very nice, and honestly, it allows you to just stop the one uh, hand operation plus where you want it. Now, if you want to get more insight, I encourage you to go and download it and you can just see all the things that you can do with this. Now, guys, like I told you, you have at least six um, actions on each button. C, back key, home key, recent key, menu key, volume up, down, toggles, but then also more than this, screenshot, smart select. Okay, let me just now use the smart select. So let's say I'm browsing and I like something, a short swipe on the right will get me here, the smart select. Yeah, and you see it's really smart. So let's say I click done here and I can do whatever I want with this. So the power that you have with using one hand operation plus is really unlimited. So this here is the smart select and you can do whatever you want with this. But if I'm to do a long swipe, guys, I'm gonna get quick tools here, boom. You can also move the position of the handle. So let's say you don't want them here, you can move them there. You can change the color. So you have unlimited options. And also you have settings for the gestures, guys. Vibration levels, custom vibration intensity. But if you want to very conveniently use this rather big phone with your one hand, then the one hand operation plus is really a must. Same with the right handle, guys. 
short swipe you can configure them and you can just see there are plenty of options and this is why i encourage you to check this by yourself because it's really very good for you to just try to discover new things but i'm really confident that a lot of you out there are using this so this was the short update for the one hand operation plus guys if you like videos like this don't forget to support the channel guys please stay safe vst over and bye